G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com and today we've got something completely different. We've got this beautiful uh, painting that I did. I had so much fun. Uh, this was a paint by number chrysanthemum and I really love how it's turned out. Um, the kit was sent to me by Crafties. So now we're going to take a look at how I did it and what I thought about the process. I have to say the first thing that surprised me was how quickly these crafties kits arrived. I live in Western Australia and so generally these kits and things come in the mail, they take a few weeks to arrive. This one rocked up within days of it being ordered. I did take a few days to choose the kit because I wasn't sure there's so many beautiful designs you can choose from crafties. So we pull out the box and I got a box um, which contained all kinds of goodies in there. Let's open it up and take a look. So it's very securely packaged. And I just loved it opening up and seeing the beautiful canvas it's really good quality and the, there's some muted colors to sort of help guide you when you're going to paint as well as the numbers now the numbers are pretty small so I did have to pull out my reading glasses to help me at times there's a guide sheet in there and it actually shows you how to set up the box as a canvas holder as well. So now let's take a look at the accessories. It comes with four paint brushes. Um, it comes with, I think that was some varnish. So let's have a look inside the box. We have a little thank you note. We've got a full colour um, sample to show us how to paint. We've got some mounting hooks. We've also got this little boulder here which I will need to cut open. And here are the paints. And the little holder for the paint with the numbers on there. So here I am just folding up the little holder for the paint pots. It's a really handy um, way to have your pots arranged in order. Just fold down the tabs, it's pretty simple. I did find it slightly confusing that all the numbers weren't arranged in a logical order but I guess that's because there were some designs that used fewer ones so the central ones would be used. Then we've got some plaster hooks and some actual proper screwing hooks for you to use to mount your um, finished canvas. We have bricks here so I'm going to be drilling into the wall. And then you've got the little pot number labels, which you will use that little color card to match the pots with their actual numbers. And now it's time to cut open the paints and go ahead and look at those little numbers, check the codes and stick the correct stickers on top. So here's the process of 
getting out the paint pots and then you actually go ahead and use the printed dot matrix um, numbers that match with the numbers printed on the card and then you stick the sticker on and place them in the little pop holder. But I am going to speed it up for you. Um, it can be kind of relaxing, I was watching it back, but maybe you don't need to watch me spending um, three minutes adding numbers to the top of paint pots. Let me know in the comments what you prefer. There was three whites. I definitely needed a lot of white on that top right corner and I did actually have to put the stickers on multiple times uh, because I didn't happen around the right way. So you have to use that double lip at the front to open it. So you want the pot, the sticker to be the right way up. I just got to painting. I'm a lefty as you can see and I just started with the lightest colours because I figured it's easier to paint over with a darker colour. And then I just go through with one pot at a time because it did say that the um, pots can dry out so I just close them up as I've used each one and you can see it was coming together quite well. And then I uh, had another painting session here and continued on. And you can see what I was doing here was just painting over the numbers because you kind of need a second layer over all of them. And then I started to add some more colors. Had to put my glasses on to read those tiny numbers, but I was enjoying it so much. Here I'm using a water uh, brush just to make it a bit more uh, workable with the paint because it is quite fast drying, which is great when you come to do a second coat. Have you ever tried doing a paint by number? This is my first one. so. I was interested to see how it would go. I quite enjoyed this uh, design because it's a beautiful design that I would definitely love to have on the wall in my home. And actually it is hanging up in our lounge room at the moment. Um, the only thing I wasn't expecting, I guess, is just like how tiny all of these little spots are. I think next time I might go for a design that has larger areas of color because it's quite fiddly to be using all these very similar shades or maybe if you did a design that was not as lifelike it wouldn't be so hard to work out exactly which color was which. There's a lot of shades of pink and apricot in this design. Let me know in the comments have you ever painted a paint by number? You can see again here we are in daylight and it's so much brighter. I'm adding some darker colors now. Had to slightly skip around because I did miss a couple of recording sessions. I had some little helpers help me with some of the yellow and orange. And don't you just absolutely love how vibrant these colors are? The recordings I did in the evening just didn't do it justice. These are gorgeous colors and beautiful and bright. You can see throughout this recording, I'm using mostly my set of three Derwent water brushes and that's just to keep the brush really moist. It wasn't as if I was squirting water through that paintbrush. I was just keeping the paint nice and moist so I had a bit more working time. And you can just see I'm adding the final touches here. It's looking really great. I did have to go over with a second coat on the lighter colors. And you can see here, this is after one coat. When you're up close, the numbers are still visible, but you can also see that beautiful texture from the paint. And you can go over again. There's plenty of paint to do a second coat, um, which I did, but look at that gorgeous texture I wish you could feel it and here we are with my finalized uh, picture I've been absolutely thrilled to do this craft ease paint by number I hope you'll give it a go if you use my code m-s-h-a-n-h-u-n you will get 
20% off your purchase and I've got the link below in the description. Check them out. Let me know what you think. I hope you'll love your painting just as much as I love mine. So I hope you've enjoyed this completely different video from me. Leave me a paint palette emoji in the comments if you loved it. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these creative artsy videos. And of course, if you'd like to learn more about Photoshop Elements or digital scrapbooking, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com.